Well, hello all my YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, I'm going to talk to you about my brand new computer and also about Windows 10. Hmm. I'm not very happy because this new computer is running slow just like my old one. Now, this computer I bought not too long ago this has the highest specs ever. It has a one terabyte mechanical drive. Uh, it has i core seven, and it also has sixteen gigs of RAM. But because of Windows Ten bogging my system down, I physically have to wait for the computer to fully load and boot. I don't got time for that. I gotta get stuff done. I gotta get things done for the channel. Got videos to make. I got videos to edit on this computer. That's the reason why I bought this system. Now, I can put an SSD in this computer, but sadly I still have a warranty on this. I can't just open it and swap out the um, mechanical drive for a SSD. I don't know why we're still using mechanical drives today. But I understand that mechanical drives are a lot cheaper than SSDs. But you know what? This computer is a nice system. That's the reason why I bought this computer. Now I'm going to show you the problems of this computer and why it's running uh, very slow. Now, when I am like doing anything, it has to load all its things, all its icons and everything in the background. Windows 7 doesn't do that. All you have to do is you push the button and Windows 7 loads up perfectly fine. I bet you 10 to 1 that has a lower RPM drive in it instead of one of those higher RPM drives. But let's go ahead and get into it and show you what I mean. I'm disappointed, not happy with my new computer. Boo! Hmm. Here is my computer, I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to show you what the problem is. No external devices are hooked up to it, no memory cards, no hard drives, and also, uh, get yourself a cup of coffee, you might need it. To wake yourself up here. Alright, let's do like somewhat a, a wake up on this old computer. Oh, wait a minute, that's not old. It's a new computer, should I say. But, you can see here we have that little swirly thing. Um, loads up okay, I guess. There's the little blue screen swirly thing with the cursor. And I type in my diddly doos here. And of course it didn't do anything. Half times it works and half times it doesn't. But here's my login screen. This is uh, getting stuff done, but you can see I have to wait a week and a day for it to boot up. Now, this is on AC. Now, what I'm going to try to attempt to do is uh, do it off a of battery and see what the difference is on why this computer is running like it is and why it's running very super slow. I think Windows 10 has really screwed everybody. I don't know if I really like the new operating system, but see, I can't use it just yet because I have to physically wait for everything to boot. Now I go to my tax manager and see what's crunching the hard drive and crunching the CPU. Well, like I said, it's like, I don't know. I mean, my hard drive is 100% maxed out because it's loading its stuff in the background, guys, and years. I don't understand it. We're going to turn this thing back off, and we're going to hit that uh, button. All right, let me just explain about why I bought this computer. I bought this computer to do a lot of editing work on it. My old laptop couldn't do the stuff I do now. But the biggest problem is, is what's bothering this computer down 
is the operating system and also the mechanical hole drive. I don't want to be tied to a desk. I could be out there uh, spending time with my family to edit and do the stuff I need to get done. But once you start filling up your whole drive with videos and content and uh, wall footage, you're going to make the computer even much slower. Let's go ahead and unplug the AC, turn on the system, and see if it does the exact same thing like it normally does. Now, this computer is designed to play video games, is designed to edit uh, good videos, and of course this is now on battery. Get that space ball though, get the dilly pin in here. Now, this computer is a very nice computer. This I got down at Best Buy, and I spent a lot of money on it, trust me. But, you can see, it says, Welcome to Windows. We're still loading. It's like, seriously, I want to just get into the desktop. I just want to get stuff done. I don't want to have to sit here and wait for everything to load, but I have to do that. This is the same issue I had with my old HP. This is a brand new computer. It shouldn't be this slow. But, you know what? What can you do? Let's go ahead and show you the whole drive uh, specs and stuff on this computer. I'm going to show you some things about this computer and why I like it a whole lot. Of course, there is the iCore 7 processor, and that's the NVIDIA graphics chip. Now, if you're curious, let's go into the device manual, where you can see what we're looking for. This has a lot more to it than my old computer. Let's look at this uh, little hole drive spec. There's the hole drive, it's a Toshiba. I don't know if it's a low RPM or if it's just a standard mechanical drive and that's what's built into this computer. But I really do like this computer. I mean, it's really a disappointment. This computer is slow and running very slow and I don't understand it. I, I really don't. But this is still a nice computer to try to edit off of. But this is kind of like a rant about this computer and what I dislike about it and why it's just doing what it does. But like I said, everything has to load in the background. And yes, I do have a lot of junk on this computer. I wish I can just delete most of it, but most of it is uh, stuff towards the computer, but I don't know. I honestly tell you the truth, I really don't know what the problem is with this computer on why it does what it does and why it's so slow. But you know what, Windows 10 is not that bad, okay? But yes, I found out some information about Windows 10 it has to physically load icons when it uh, goes to the uh, desktop. Now, uh, when you have a Windows 7 computer, um, you don't have an issue with that. All you do is you just push the button on your Windows desktop machine, turn it on, let it boot up, then it loads to the same thing like this computer. But I honestly think it's all these mechanical drives or designed to be slow from the manufacturer or the type of RPM drive you use. But how can I make this computer run faster? Should I put SSD in it? I think I should. I will just reinstall the programs I originally had on this system and just redo it because I'm just not happy. I'm just tired of waiting for a computer to do what it needs to do. But, you know what? Just have to let it do what it do, I guess. Alright, if you guys have been on this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below on what type of SSD should I stick in this new computer. Please like, please share, 
Peace out. Bye, guys and ghouls. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Peace out for your boy, Chris. And have fun with Windows 10.